If you're looking for different options for door stoppers in your house to stop these doors from hitting the wall when you open them, there are four different types on the market right now that you should look at, but each of them has their own pros and cons. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through all of those details. Let's get right to it. The first option that you have is a traditional baseboard mounted door stopper. They come in two different types, the flexible kind of springy ones, and also ones that are made out of a metal or harder material that are more firm when they hit the door. The pros with these door stoppers is that they're super easy to install and they're out of the way, they're down on the floor, but that can also be seen as a con. If you have children or pets that like to walk by and just fling these things nonstop, or if they could trip on these door stops, these might not be the best options for you. The other bigger con is if you have people in your home who are rough on things and they're gonna push those doors really hard, when they slam that door, you're gonna start to see marks on the back side of your door, whether it's a spring-based or a solid door stopper. The second option that you have is a bumper-based door stopper that fits on the top hinge of your door. These are super easy to install, which is a pro. They're also easy to adjust. You just adjust them by unscrewing the bumper out or screwing the bumper back in. You can do this based on however far you want the door to travel. The con with this one, and this is a big con, I've had friends complain about this. Over time, these bumpers will start to wear out the door trim and leave indentations in there. Just like the floor-based or baseboard-based door stopper, if you have people in your home who are rough on things, they're going to push that door hard and your trim is gonna wear out really fast. Another major con of this door stopper is if you want your door to open a long distance and not to like a 45 or even a 60 degree mark when you open it, these are not gonna work for you because they do have a limited travel associated to their capability. The third option is similar to number two in the way that it mounts, but it's a little bit different in the way that it operates. It's called the Door Saver 3. It mounts in the same location as the bumper-based door stopper on the pin of the top hinge of your door, but it operates very differently. There are two distinct pieces. The first has a cam built on top of it, and you place the second piece on top. To adjust, you just lift and twist and lift and twist until you get it to the point where the door travel is where you want it to be. Pros-wise, this is very easy to install on the top pin. It's also really nicely concealed behind the trim on the side here, so it's nice in that regard. From a cons perspective, there are two that I can see. The first is the door will not travel its full distance, but it goes significantly further than that bumper-based door stopper does. The second, while it's not gonna cause damage on the outside of the door trim like that bumper-based door stopper, I can see how over time this one might cause issues on the inside of the trim. Just like I said before, if you have people in your home that are rough on the doors and they push very hard, this could probably put some pressure on the inside of that trim and cause some damage over time. Option number four is totally different than the other three because it doesn't use your baseboard and it doesn't use any part of your door, no hinges or anything. It uses your floor. And to see how this baby works, click or tap on this video. Until the next time, keep doing it yourself.